An important feature of vThere is that it exists within your Active Directory and is subject to group policies. The vThere image is an actual computer object residing in a specified organizational unit, or OU. Therefore, any group policies applied against this OU will also be applied against the image itself. Let's look at an example. I will start up my vThere image and log in using my Active Directory login credentials. The image logs into the domain, and just like a hardware computer, this is where group policies are typically applied. Once logged on, I'm going to open up the control panels and navigate to schedule tasks. As you can see under the current group policy, I have the ability to add a scheduled task. I will shut down the image to make change to group policy. Now imagine that I am the network administrator and on my host PC I am going to open up the Active Directory Users and Computers console and add a policy to the vther OU that will disable the ability for any computers in that OU to add a scheduled task. The new group policy that I will add will be called Task Scheduler. I will now edit that policy and find the specific template that will disable the ability to add scheduled tasks. This template is located under Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Task Scheduler. I will now configure the actual template called Prohibit New Task Creation and I will enable this. Now all my vther images that belong to this OU will not have the ability to schedule tasks. I will close and save this group policy. And I'll start up my vther image from a cold boot. This method will once again have me log in using my Active Directory credentials. The image logs into the domain and this is where the group policy will be applied. Going to Scheduled Tasks in the control panel, we will now notice that the ability to add a scheduled task has disappeared. I have successfully applied a computer policy, group policy, to my vther image.